The rich tapestry of pre-Mughal Indian history, empires and civilizations. The history of the Indian subcontinent before the Mughal Empire is a tapestry woven with the threads of diverse cultures, dynasties and civilizations. Stretching back millennia, this history is marked by the rise and fall of powerful empires, the flourishing of advanced civilizations, and the exchange of ideas and traditions that shaped the region's identity. From the ancient cities of the Indus Valley to the bustling capitals of the Gupta Empire, each era left an indelible mark on the landscape of South Asia. Indus Valley Civilization, c. 3300 to 1300 BCE. The story begins with the enigmatic Indus Valley Civilization, one of the world's earliest urban societies. Flourishing in the floodplains of the Indus River and its tributary, this civilization boasted well-planned cities like Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro. Its mastery of urban planning, evidenced by grid-patterned streets and sophisticated drainage systems, speaks to a high level of social organization and engineering prowess. The Indus people engaged in trade networks that stretched across the ancient world, exchanging goods and ideas with Mesopotamia and beyond. Yet, despite their achievements, the decline of the Indus Valley civilization remains shrouded in mystery, leaving archaeologists to speculate on the causes of its demise. Vedic Period, c. 1500 to 500 BCE. The Vedic period ushered in an era of profound religious and social change with the arrival of Indo-European tribes on the subcontinent. The composition of the Vedas, sacred texts of Hinduism, provided insights into early Aryan society, rituals, and beliefs. This period also saw the emergence of the caste system, with its hierarchical structure shaping social and occupational roles for centuries to come. Agriculture became increasingly important, leading to the establishment of settled communities and the development of early states and chiefdoms. Maurya Empire, c. 322-185 BCE. The Maurya Empire stands as a testament to the ambition and administrative genius of its founder, Chandragupta Maurya. From its capital in Palaputra, this vast empire stretched across much of the Indian subcontinent, incorporating diverse peoples and cultures under its rule. The reign of Ashoka, the third Mauryan emperor, is particularly notable for his embrace of Buddhism and his efforts to promote peace and tolerance throughout his realm. His rock and pillar edicts scattered across the subcontinent attest to his commitment to social welfare and ethical governance. Gupta Empire, c. 320-550 CE. The Gupta Empire is often hailed as the Golden Age of India, a period of remarkable cultural and intellectual achievement. Under the patronage of Gupta rulers like Chandragupta I and Samudragupta, the arts and sciences flourished, with scholars making significant contributions in fields such as mathematics, astronomy, and literature. The Gupta period witnessed the composition of literary masterpieces like Kalidasa's plays and the development of the decimal system and concept of zero in mathematics. The art of the Gupta era, as seen in the Ajanta and Ellora Caves, reflects a fusion of indigenous traditions with Greco-Roman influences. Delhi Sultanate, c. 1206-1526 CE. The Delhi Sultanate heralded a new chapter in Indian history with the arrival of Islamic rule on the subcontinent. Established by Turkic and Afghan dynasties, the Sultanate saw the rise of powerful rulers like Aladdin Khalji and Muhammad bin Tughluq, who expanded its territories through conquest and diplomacy. The Delhi Sultanate was characterized by a synthesis of Indian and Persianate cultures, reflected in its architecture, literature, and administrative practices. The construction of magnificent mosques such as the Qutub Minar and the patronage of Sufi saints played a crucial role in the spread of Islam and the integration of diverse communities within the Sultanate. 5. Delhi Sultanate C. 1206-1526 CE the Delhi Sultanate was established by various Turkic and Afghan dynasties following the defeat of the last Hindu ruler of Delhi, Prithviraj Chauhan, by Muhammad Ghori in 1192 CE. The early period of the Delhi Sultanate saw the dominance of the Mamluk slave dynasty, followed by the Khalji, Tughlaq, Sayyid, and Lodi dynasties. The Delhi Sultanate marked the beginning of Islamic rule in the Indian subcontinent, leading to significant cultural and societal changes. The Sultanate was characterized by a series of territorial expansions, conflicts with neighboring Hindu kingdoms, and internal power struggles. 
The Khalji dynasty, under rulers like Aladdin Khalji, expanded the empire to its greatest territorial extent, reaching down to the Deccan Plateau. The Tughlaq dynasty, particularly under Muhammad bin Tughlaq, is known for its ambitious but ultimately unsuccessful administrative reforms and costly military campaigns. The Sultanate period also witnessed the flourishing of Persian and Arabic literature, the introduction of Persianate culture, and the establishment of Sufi orders that played a significant role in spreading Islam in the region. Architecturally, the Delhi Sultanate is known for its impressive mosques, madrasas, and forts, such as the Qutub Minar and the Tughlaqabad Fort in Delhi. The Delhi Sultanate was a crucial period in Indian history, as it laid the foundation for subsequent Muslim rule in the subcontinent and shaped the cultural, political, and architectural landscape of the region. 1. Vijayanagara Empire, c. 1336-1646 CE Founded in the wake of the collapse of the Delhi Sultanate, the Vijayanagara Empire was a Hindu empire based in the Deccan Plateau. It was known for its military strength, architectural marvels, and patronage of art and culture. 2. Sikh Empire, c. 18th-19th centuries CE The Sikh Empire, under leaders like Maharaja Ranjit Singh, emerged in the northwestern part of the Indian subcontinent. It was a formidable power that challenged the hegemony of the Mughals and the British East India Company. Conclusion In conclusion, the history of the Indian subcontinent before the Mughals is a saga of innovation, resilience, and cultural exchange. From the urban centers of the Indus Valley to the philosophical debates of the Vedic period, from the imperial grandeur of the Mauryas to the intellectual ferment of the Guptas, each era left its imprint on the collective consciousness of South Asia. The Delhi Sultanate, with its fusion of Islamic and Indian traditions, bridged the gap between East and West, laying the groundwork for the rich tapestry of cultures that define the region today. As we trace the arc of pre-Mughal history, we are reminded of the enduring legacy of those who came before us, whose achievements continue to inspire and inform our understanding of the past.